And I can't agree more with everything that my friends and colleagues have said, but I want to tell you a story, as many of us have from our trips to the land that is holy for so many of us. One of my earliest times in Israel, I was able to visit the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Like so many thousands of Palestinians have not been able to at the end of Ramadan. And I entered that space, and it was not prayer time. It was just me and the rugs. It was just me and that space. And I felt welcomed. I felt embraced. I felt that I was in the right place. I felt that it was holy ground, as holy as any ground I'd been on. One of the best prayer spaces I'd ever entered. And to feel that that space is now a contentious boiling point for these two peoples who have been striving against one another for so long. You know, we live in the present. We cannot help but live in the present. And we can do little about the past except to move towards the future. And with Salam demonstrated to us when he showed us those, those maps of the progression of the, 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 the geopolitics of Israel and Palestine. I wish that we could have come up with something that would have indeed been more equitable a long time ago and we're not there. We're only now. And now is the time for the Israelis and the Palestinians not to lose another chance to leap higher, to leap beyond everything that's gone before. There is no justice, no civility in this civil war when the Israeli military and police <coughs> act the way they do to Palestinians, treating them as less than human, treating them with indignity, treating them as things. There is nothing civil about missiles being lobbed into Israel indiscriminately to go anywhere and kill. There is nothing civil about Hamas hiding itself near schools and hospitals. And there is nothing civil about Jews claiming the rights to the entire land and displacing holy human beings from their homes that they've lived in for generations. What are we doing? This is indeed the definition of insanity. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. There needs to be a different process. There needs to be a coming together. The United States needs to wield its power to calm things down not to say that one side is superior to the other and one side deserves more defense than the other. In fact, the United States needs to decide that there are no sides. That there is just this place with two peoples with their integrity, with two peoples who deserve their sovereignty, with two peoples who deserve to live as they are who they are side by side. It's time for Ishmael and Isaac to come back together, as they did only once for the burial of their father. But now they should come together for life, for rebirth of something new, something precious, that we'll never lose hold of again.